Greetings YouTube and welcome to another Prof Hoff Gets Wrecked but tries to show some realistic gameplay video in which I'm about to fight the final boss of the uh, Heralds of Galactus Tuesday chapter for the first time. Uh, I was debating which side to go down. I hate fighting Mojo and I hate fighting Guillotine 2099. And honestly, I hate fighting Silver Surfer. So I went left, and then I remembered quite quickly, oh, well, you also hate fighting Storm Pyramid X. <laughs> uh, I have not lost a champion technically, but you can see Corvus has taken quite a bit of damage. Quake's taken some damage against Dormammu. Uh, Nick Fury has taken a little bit, though a lot of that is due to Suicide Masteries. And, uh, and so, I, you know, this is not by any means a perfect gameplay. <laughs> uh, but then again, it's my channel, right? What else? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt against Mr. Airwalker himself to, to just see if we can, uh, get him down in a realistic fashion and maybe not have to use any revives. But if we do, we do. I, um, I haven't thought this was the hardest. I still think despite how powerful he is on blocks that the day with doom, which is what Friday, maybe that's probably my favorite day to do well anything related to this quest i like to get um i probably should just dexter that right i like to get nick fury down first and give myself kind of that bonus and he's doing more damage than i would have hoped 30 percent is um uh, it's fine by me he's gonna be dead now see you later saint nick Blow that horn. Airwalker. I mean, that's a beautiful animation. I mean, that's that's just incredible. I have to give Kabam props, because even if there's a champion that I don't especially like using, like Saving Diablo, the special threes are consistently, like, I almost feel like there's a competition at Kabam to see who can outdo themselves with the next champion. I mean that in the most complimentary fashion. They just, they're so beautiful. They're so well done. They're so fun to see. And I, I have to remind myself, because I become kind of desensitized and numb to it every day. And so then, like, when my brother sees an animation, he'll just be like, that's incredible. And I'll stop, and I'll think about it, and I'll be like, you know, it really is also the opposite of incredible is this gameplay. I got to be honest, I probably should know why I'm uh, taking all that degen damage. Let's actually read these. Huh? Aggressive, heavy hitter. Mystic Conditioning 2, whenever the attacker attempts to remove a buff, the Nullify, Fate Seal, or Stagger, the chances of all fully nullifying, blah, blah, blah. Aspect of Evolution, Special Delivery, the attacker begins the fight with 15 combo charges. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, each landing basic attack decreases the combo charge by one, and launching a special attack will reset the charge. So in other words, I just need to, I just need to do a special attack. So, uh, you know, I like to, to be casual sometimes with, uh, <laughs> with my play. And uh, that gets me in trouble. So, you know, learn from my mistakes, as always. That's, um, I should have looked up, right? And seen, seen that there was a counter and just, like, known about it. Of course, if I'm trying to intercept and I'm dying anyways, then uh, maybe I should just title this the worst gameplay ever against Airwalker. That'd be accurate. No clickbait there. All right, let's, let's see if we can, let's see if we can quake and bake. I did much better, much better against Dr. Doom than this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to release this heavy, and then I'm going to hopefully get him to bait a special two. Okay, never mind. And I'm dead. Well, now the question is going to be, in order to avoid revive, can Corvus get down 38%. I'd say there's like a 50-50 shot he can. That's why I saved Corvus for last. But Corvus only has one charge because I took him down with Storm Pyramid X, and then I realized if you had just taken him down with Guillotine 2099, and um, let's see who else is on that path. Guillotine 2099 and Namor, you'd have at least two charges. So if you're fighting with Corvus, you probably don't want to pull a prof off. You probably want to go right instead of left. But, you know, this is just a way for me to... <laughs> Pass on some knowledge to the community. That's um, it's always my goal, right? Learn from my mistakes. 
this power gain is so impressive. All right, fired off a special that time. All right, we're going to have to hope that this final five-hit combo kills him, and it does. Well, good news is I got him down without using any revives. The bad news is I had to use the full extent of my roster, and had I not gotten him down, I would have taken a special three to the face and probably had to use at least one level one revive, which would have broken my uh, my streak of uh, revives. So there you have it. Um, this is kind of like a... Uh, a hybrid, if you will. Man, I'm less than a thousand six star shards now, but you got some rank ups going on about it. So um, I'm probably going to save my remaining Galactus favor for the days where it's not mixed, but I wanted to kind of try it and see what it was like. For me and my skills and my experience personally, I don't think it's worth it to do this day. I think if you want to go with rank up, do the rank up on the day. And if you want to do crystal shards, do crystal shards. But I'm still glad I tried it, and I'm actually glad that I was able to showcase some uh, fairly average gameplay because it hopefully gave you a better sense of your own skills in comparison to some guy who uh, likes to pretend he's uh, you know, a big YouTuber. Oh, so big. But most of the time, he, like anybody else, is just uh, trying not to die in this mobile Casino of Champions game. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a good one.